so guys uh, watch this video and, and judge for yourself a video of president buari not shaking hands with senator remi tinumbu at the 2019 in nigeria international conference award and exhibition in abuja yesterday november 28 has got people talking on twitter some nigerians query why he did not shake uh, like the other make government functionaries others however argue that as a muslim is not expected to shake any woman this was however countered by some nigerians who pointed out that the president shook hands with german chancellor angela merkel when they met some time ago others argue that the minister of communications isa patami failed to introduce senator tinumbu properly to president muhammadu buhari hence his failure to shake her hands so watch uh, this video and let's hear your take Aisha Yusufu said on her Twitter page that when the minister slighted the woman and introduced the person after her, a more attentive leader would have taken time to talk to the lady and make her feel at ease. But then Buari is the one who went to his so his first inauguration sat down and had to be told to go greet people. And some other person argued that in African, in African culture, woman has a place and she's powerful king or leader. Put woman first. Someone say, uh, General Muhammad Obari, this is Western culture displaying you no get respect for woman. You see woman like anything. Hmm. At Ri Shunkuti and at Chide. Chidi or the Naku. Hmm. Someone say, can women just stop this kneeling and uh, genuflecting? They have not reached your tone. You are kneeling. They have not even made eye contact with you. You are kneeling. For what? That's what somebody said. That's somebody's opinion. You know, you know, in that video, you could see the woman was just kneeling down. Was just kneeling down. We just kneeling down. Almost three times if you watch that video carefully. And, and I, in my own opinion, I don't think the, the, the president did not see the woman or even if he did not see the woman, he knows the woman very well. At least Tinubu's wife is not a, somebody can just say, you know, wave off that, oh, who is this person? Even if you don't even know the person, at least she, I think from that uh, video, if I'm not mistaken, she's even the, she was the, the only woman in that video. At least, you know, giving that, that accorded her respect. And like Aisha said, at least you would have given her, even if I thought that is your belief that you don't want to shake woman, which is not, which is even still arguable because we have seen in some places that the president shook hands with uh, other women. So, uh, of course, maybe it's possible that he does not even know the woman again or he has forgotten about the woman or whatever reason of that. But what we have seen, what we saw in that video were, you know, a big slight, you know, even on the part of the woman. And the woman, irrespective of whatever, it, it was, it's a glaring thing. Before you, they will tell you, though, it was a, a doctored video. Oh, well, some people will come and tell you, oh, what is the big deal? It is everything that we talk about. Yes, it is everything we talk about. Yes, Nigerians will talk about everything. If you, like people always say, if you do anyhow, you see anyhow. If you do something that is you know, uncalled for or that is really strange. People will talk about it. So everybody is right to say whatever they want to say. Because even from that video, they are analyzing it. It's for analysis for you to say, you know, like I always say, little, little things like that. If you don't take care of those little, little things, by the time they escalate, you will not be able to cope with them. You just say, oh, it is, that is not the Nigerian problem. Oh, that is not our problem. It is. It is part of the disease because when you don't care about people, when you don't give respect to people, I don't know how you're going to give respect to larger people that you don't even see in the first place. So that is just how it is. And that's why we are seeing and we are hearing a lot of reactions here and there. Some say that is a lie from the pit of hell. Not, didn't he shake the former UK PM, Theresa May, and the German Chancellor, uh, Marke, Marke Hans. So it is true, you know, you know, people want to make a want to make uh, excuses oh this is the reason why he didn't do that but you know that aside that one has really been debunked because we know he has done that severally but it was a close range if the person was a, in a very far place because there was somebody before the woman and there there was somebody after the woman so <laughs> even if it were to be a, a small child at least you'll be able to notice this, this is a child not to talk of okay she was even the only woman among the people that were there you know she just just passed he just passed her 
you know, the, the politicians cannot be trusted and even the president Buhari himself, you know, you should know the kind of person he is. He does not even care about people. Because all, forget all these territories, they will come and say, oh, he has a, the interest of people at heart. If you have the interest of people at heart and people are complaining about one or two things, you should be able to listen. Even what happened in South Africa, the xenophobic attack that had happened in South Africa, we saw the way he handled the whole thing. He was never bothered, not even a single word. That's what I'm saying, that little, little things that like that, if we don't even take cognizance of those little, little things, once they escalate, you can't even, you can't even, you can't, you can't amend them. As grievous as 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 weighty of uh, the incident that happened in South Africa, even a single word, this man could not even relate with Nigerians who really went through that uh, that uh, a problem, that challenges. Let's say lose, a lot of people even lost their lives. Even whether the people are from your country or they are not from your country, and for the fact that some people were really brought back to the country, you know, should have even you know given a concern, even a statement. We go a long way to pacify, to relieve people from, 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 from what they were going through. He didn't even do that. I'm not to talk of uh, seeing somebody. We're not shaking. It. What was the big deal about it? Which we are talking about. You could see that even when Oyema went to pick those uh, 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 Nigerians from South Africa, you could see as soon as he entered the plane, see the way the people appreciated him and see the way himself he responded. Even, he, you know, he was moved. You could see the, you, you could see the, the, the feelings. That ah, these are my fellow Nigerian people, but the president, even to utter a statement, let alone that they want to even go and bring those people back. So, those are the things that we are talking about. Somebody, if somebody does not have woman feelings, so to me, this one is even nothing, it's not, it's, it's nothing compared to what we've been, we've been seeing now. So, me, yeah, I'm not really surprised. People can defend the whole thing, you know, to, to any level they want to, or they can trivialize it, you know, anyhow they want to do that, but we know that. We know when you see the antecedents of somebody, you know, you just you want to attach anything, you know, every, every minute to what that person does. That's just my own uh, opinion. Now someone says, hmm, I meant I meant woman, women. Call Muslims don't shake the hands of a, a female or female folks, especially fellow fellow female Muslim folks. That's that's not true. Um someone says, uh you people lack uh, joy in your lives. That's why you are so upset about what he does wrong every time. Of course, okay, if you know that he does wrong. So if somebody does wrong, you should not even talk about it. These are the same people. He does wrong. Somebody does wrong. You say, forget it. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. If you don't tackle the little, little ones, once they escalate, you will never be able to amend or even talk about them. Someone says, yeah, again, that's a religious wise. It's forbidden to shake opposite says. Didn't. Don't blame any of the senator, Remy, and the president. Maybe it's part of the protocol. Hmm. You know, some people will just want to justify what is even glaring to the blind. Justifying what? Okay, what of the other two women he, he shook hands with? The two prime ministers he shook hands with. So what are you going to say about that? Some people don't even, they don't even try to look at things or to even find out what has been happening they will just come and just conclude and that's why that so some people are so myopic they just they are one-way traffic they don't even see anything from other angle they don't see things differently from other angle it's just one-way traffic you don't even know what has up what is obtainable what has happened before because of one thing oh because of just only your environment you just categorize you generalize things that way if you don't tackle little things bigger things will come and you will not be able to uh you will not be able to do that and someone says, hmm, you can see patriotic, uh, patriarchy hoozing out of Isa Patami. Some, you think he didn't undo it well, but I think he intentionally did it because of his mentality. In African culture, woman has a place and she's powerful and powerful king or leader puts women first. And that's what somebody has said in that place. And someone is saying, why did you deliberately exclude a female senator? We know you don't shake hands with women, but at least respect them. This is disgraceful. You should be ashamed. When you see someone tagging Yesufu, you automatically know you want a blind support. Maybe Baba should have hugged her. As far as Mr. Integrity is concerned, that woman doesn't exist. That's a somebody's opinion. And someone is saying here, Mbari did the right thing. It's even normal to check woman at any point at all. 
in German is German Chancellor Angela Merkel more of importance than Senator Olure Mitinumbu. A grateful heart will be we break religion protocol with their attitude of love over that override every other thing. But the ungrateful we always demonstrate their true colors. Someone say uh is the ministry that control everything and avoid the president to shake with Mrs. Etinumbu because he too, he too can get his share of his sin if allow the president to shake. Therefore, being knowledgeable, he quickly blocked Tinumbu by changing side. Hmm. People should not make much difference issues about this because salutation is not love. They deserve it. Maybe more bullion we clear that you know, that's on a lighter note. What is the big deal in shaking hands? President Buhari is a Muslim and Muslim maids don't shake hands with women. We need to learn cultural and religious differences and stop reading minutes to into a, a genuine actions. Genuine actions. But what of the other two women that he shook that people are even uh, uh, referring to? Like I always say, some people are just my own pick. They don't even see things <laughs> from other angle. You know, what happens around them that's just what they know or what they are being fed with go and do your research and see where he has you know you know when he had handshakes with other women so what are we talking about we people might just trivialize it so it's nothing it's not a big deal it's not whatever but already it's, it's in the public domain but they can't tell us it's, it's even a doctor the video so guys uh, what you think about uh, this whole thing leave your comment below and let's hear your take thank you very much bye